Hi everyone, my name is Frank Westfall and in this video I will show you how to fix a Windows computer with a drive that is showing red like this. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe and check out my channel for many different computer tutorial videos. Cleaning up disk space is absolutely necessary when your drive starts showing red because if you don't free up space, the operating system will no longer run when the disk is completely full. When this number here, right now I still have 10 gigabytes free, but when that starts getting in the 500 to 400 megabyte range, your operating system will start freezing up and it won't run at all. This means that to get the computer running at all again, you will have to remove data from your system disk using an external bootable drive or an external adapter. And both of these are more difficult and take much longer than simply cleaning up data before the drive gets completely full. This red on your disk is a warning that you need to take action now, not later. Your computer will stop working if you don't do something about this. Now, I did IT engineering for 10 years and I intentionally filled this drive up for the purpose of this demonstration and making this video. But I have encountered this many times with users throughout the years where I get a ticket that says, hey, my computer isn't working and I show up and this is what I see. The drive is simply full. It has too much data on it. So let's get to this. Let's clean up some space on this drive. The very first thing we're gonna do is run a disk cleanup and remove old Windows update files. Those take up a fair amount of disk space and they're just pure junk. We're gonna do that by right clicking on the disk and going to properties. And you'll see there is a button down here called disk cleanup. We're gonna hit that. And this is gonna show us the files that we can clean up on this disk. Now we wanna also add in the Windows update files. So we're gonna hit the button for clean up system files as well. And it might take a second depending on the speed of your disk for it to come back with the results. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click these and you can basically check all of these. The only one that you might want to not check is your recycle bin. If you're not sure if you're okay with deleting permanently the files that are in your recycle bin. Okay, so on this one, I'm only getting 47.6 megabytes, which is a very small amount of disk space. I keep up on this computer relatively well, so there isn't much space to clear up here, but it's very likely that you will get five to 10 gigabytes back when you do just this step alone. So we just hit okay. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Yes, delete. It's gonna go through and delete those files. This can take a second depending on how many files you're deleting and how much space you're freeing up. Okay, that part's done. So my disk is still showing red and I'm gonna use a tool that is super handy in identifying where these files are. Now, because I set this up on purpose for the purpose of making this video, I know where these files are. I created a folder called random data and then I just took an operating system ISO file and I copied it a bunch of times in here to fill up my disk. But it's very likely that you may not know where the data is that's filling up your disk. And it doesn't have to be in one location. It can be in many different locations. And a really good way to find out where that is and what that data is, is this tool. It's called WinDIRStat. I can go download this little tool and you'll see that it makes it really easy to find out where those big chunks of data are on your disk. So we're gonna to go to the downloads and this is free, it's lightweight software, it's legitimate. We will download it from one of the servers. These are just mirror servers. We can download it from any one of them. I'm gonna download it from this one. And cookies, yes, we got that, okay. Whenever you go to a download site, just make sure that you're getting the actual file and not you know, hitting some big start now button or usually they'll have it like download now and then the actual download is below it. So you just always have to be aware of what you're actually downloading when you're downloading stuff to your computer. So we got the executable for this program, WinDIR stat, and we're gonna run it. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, I accept the license terms, next. And just install it with the defaults. I can close the web browser, we don't need that anymore. I can actually close File Explorer as well. And next. And now we're gonna run it. And what this tool does is just analyze your disk. If you have multiple disks in your computer, you'll see them all listed here. This computer only has one disk, the system drive. 
and this is the one I want to analyze to see where all the data is. This tool doesn't change anything. It just shows you what's there in a visual format and allows you to zero in on where your data is on this disk. It will take a minute or two to analyze the disk. Okay, so this is completed and I maximized the window and all of these chunks of colored blocks down here these are individual files. Right away you can see that, hey, we got a bunch of these blue chunks of files that are basically the same. And then we have all this other stuff. Now this is a large file down here, whatever that is, we could check it out. This is another really large file. This is a medium sized file, medium sized file. These are pretty large files. And you'll notice that when I click on them, it shows me where they are in the directory. So this is C, random data, and then server 2016 copy number four ISO. These are all these operating system installation files that I copied over intentionally to fill up this disk. But right away I can see where they are. I don't have to go searching around through File Explorer. I can just click on it and it takes me right to where it is. So once you've identified the data that's filling up your disk that you don't need, then you want to either delete it if it's completely useless to you or if you need to save it move it off of the computer using an external usb drive or over the network if you're familiar with how to do that one way or another you have to get some data off of this disk or else the computer will stop working so i'm just going to delete all these files in here and you can see that i have 186 gigabytes in here now you're probably not going to find a folder that has 186 gigabytes in it but you might i know where these are now and I'm going to start deleting some of these. Maybe I want to keep one copy of this. And you can delete them from here by right clicking, delete to recycle bin, or delete, no way to undelete. But in this program, it doesn't allow for multiple selection. So I'm going to open up File Explorer now that I know where the data is that I want to delete. And I'm going to go to this PC, this disk, and then random data. And I'm going to grab all of them that aren't copies. And I'm just going to delete all these right now. Delete them. They are too big for the recycle bin. Do you want to permanently delete them? Yes, I do. Now, again, if this was important data, you want to be moving it to an external hard disk or storing it somewhere else instead of deleting it. But to me, this is junk data. I want it gone forever. Okay, we've done that. And now let's just take a quick look at our disk again. This PC, look at that. Now we have 191 gigabytes freed up. So once you've freed up, whatever you deem is an acceptable amount of space, I would say you want to be having 20 to 30 gigabytes free on your disk at any given time, but 191 gigabytes free is plenty. Now we've done some work on this disk. We've cleaned up some files and deleted a bunch of stuff. The last thing we want to do is run what's called a check disk command. And this will just check the disk for file system errors and fix any that it finds. To do that, we want to go to the search bar, type in CMD and then right click that and do run as administrator and then the command is chkdsk space forward slash f and it's going to say it can't run now because the volume is in use by another process would you like to schedule this the answer to this is yes we do want to schedule it and we can hit enter when i restart this computer it's going to run through that disk check so i'm going to go ahead and restart restart and you're going to see this screen while well, the check disk is running and that's totally fine it's supposed to do that and it will finish after a couple minutes just let it do its thing and your operating system will load like it normally does so that's it thank you for watching if you have any questions please post them in the comment section i do try and answer them and please consider subscribing for more computer tutorial videos how-to videos and personal health and philosophy videos Thank you.